Hello, this is Teacher May Sam. How is it going? I hope you are doing well. Today, I just wanted to confabulate about a very important topic. Recently, because of this coronavirus, the whole education system of the world just collapsed. So, what happens here? You know, the private sector tries to keep or let's say hold their customers, which are, you know, the students. But how does it possible if you cannot, you know, provide a good situation for your customers, let's say students? I'm talking about the actual, you know, classes. What happens here? Obviously, everybody just goes for online education, online stuff. I have a question and I want you to contemplate over this. If the whole online education is something correct, something valuable and effective, where have you been so far? Second, why you haven't just started it yet? I'm talking about long, long time ago, right? This is so, you know, mesmerizing for me that, I mean, private sector, as well as, you know, the state sectors actually, are talking about the online education. I'm a big fan of technology, you know, online, internet, this kind of stuff. As you can obviously see me on YouTube, which you can maybe understand that I'm a big fan of this. So I am okay with this first, but we have different, different problems and mindsets. Number one problem is, you know, the technological devices or platforms that we are going to use probably like, you know, Skype, Zoom, you know, uh, Adobe Connect, this and that. There are lots of, you know, platforms like this. The second one is students are not ready for this. I mean, they are complaining about a lot of stuff like teacher, I don't have internet, teacher, my telephone is old, blah, blah, blah. I don't have, my laptop is not working, this and that. Problem into problem, problem into problem. Most of the teachers are not ready for online education stuff, to be honest. If students are not ready for online education, I have to say that it is going to be a failure, a big one. On the other hand, a lot of teachers are incapable. If you cannot behave professionally, or effectively, clearly, as a teacher in the classroom or outside of the classroom, I cannot expect a person, he or she actually, to be very professional on online platform, to be honest. I would say the last minute teachers, the last minute teachers, majority of teachers are the last minute teachers. If you do not like your job, you have to quit it. If you love your job, you have to be ready. You go to a class and the students in, in actual class is playing with his or her telephone. I cannot imagine the person would, you know, basically listen to you as a teacher online. It is almost impossible. No goals, no motivation. I don't understand why most of the students join or let's say participate the classes. I mean the real or actual classes, right? They're playing with their telephones, no homework, no show up. I don't understand. So if we haven't solved the simple problem in an actual or real way, we cannot solve it on online platform, to be honest. It is impossible. Like maximum 10% maybe we can, you know, be happy about it. For me, this coronavirus is a breaking point, to be honest, is a breaking point, which means that our mindsets, our system, our traditional and old fashioned systems should completely transform and change into something new, something really effective. If, if we are looking for online education, so what, what, what the hell is, is the whole, you know, classrooms? What the hell is that? Good question, huh? Think about it. If we are ready for this, 
why we still have actual classrooms, universities, schools, and this and that. Let's just, you know, uh, move to online education, online stuff, online system. Everywhere I go, everybody is talking about Finland education system, Finnish, let's say, Finnish education system, Finnish stuff. No one applies it. We just talk and waste our time. We haven't applied it yet. Maybe this is the time, this is the correct point to apply. I think the whole education system should be changed and this is the time. This is the time. We have online shopping, online restaurants, right? We have online banking system. You don't need to go to the bank and wait for a long period in a, in a long or huge queue or line so that your turn would come and you, after a long time, you would do one very tiny task. Do we? We don't, right? No one does that anymore because they transformed. You know, the whole system has changed, but education is still the same, intact. What happens? What is the change so far? We have changed from blackboard to whiteboard. We have just put some interactive stuff in education. Like, you know, online stuff, videos, you know, music, this and that, games. This is the only transformation. I think people can do it at home. We don't need any universities or, you know, language schools or whatever. If we have reached to that mindset or realization which online stuff is effective and is the most powerful and the correct method i think that is the breaking point for you know actual schools universities language schools yeah coronavirus taught us a great lesson i think so, thank you very much for watching and listening. I would be glad if you just leave a comment in a comment section below and share your ideas with me. You can criticize me. If, if I am wrong, please let me know so that I can come back and reply to you. Thank you again for watching. Be safe, stay home, and be happy. Bye-bye.